of uh, a pinch play. NTK could be in a world of hurt and nobody's about to pick his position up. And he gets flashed, gets in on out of there with the dash, but Red Neville's getting spotted and Dubstep still holding this angle on B-side. Yeah, Dubstep with that Lurk already finding too. They know they're hunting for him. They finally deal with him. It's been annoying for Big Bam right there. Still gets two kills, making this a 3v4. Quick raids. And Borkum, he's going to go down as well. It's going to leave us into a 1v1. Excuse me, Borkum in a 1v1 against Pina. Struggling. Yeah, I agree here. But let's go ahead and start talking about the gun rounds here. Because we're finally there. Oh, cool. Red Neville. Crispy shot to land onto the dubstep here. It's eventually traded. Um, NTK going to be able to get taken down here. And with a Spectre Dispenser opening up that A site here. Look at this quick teleport in. And Dorf, he's good for the hold on to one as Red Neville. He gets traded out as well as Dorf. And that's going to be all of the remaining players here for Big Bam. A slow methodical take onto A. This is not something that is very, I'd say, quintessential of Bren. This is... Oh, that's big. That recon dart. They, I like how they go for that first, and then they go for for, for the um, for the peak on it, and then the plant because they knew that they had the utility to afford. Pina does have a couple, a little bit of utility oh, left. Wow, he does still has one star, but oh no, they know where he is. The double swing should come out immediately, and that's the trade that is going to come in all day, every day. Bren are starting. To, um, I'm interested to see what he can. Oh wait, before that, look at that. Cool, very cool, calm, collected entry right there from Dubstep. They've given NTK the helm already with this operator, but it seems like they're gonna just quickly bypass him as Dubstep pulls the trigger on the C site. They've already taken down Dorf. That's gonna lower the Sentinel prowess. Oh, Pina! That that was a really good Hunter's Fury from from Jesse Bash. Not it doesn't really go, look for kills, but rather tags on positions where Bren has no chance. They just look straight into the eyes. The red rounds a little bit quicker towards C. And now Bren decided that there's a lot of utility from Big Bam. Good pickup right there from Red Neville. He gets up this dubstep, excuse me. And that's the entry gone. It's gonna be a trade-off by Wits with NTK. His cosmic divide. They cannot misuse it here. But with 12 seconds left, they're gonna make a B line here for B Dorf. One enemy remains. Gonna get the shot onto Borkum was left completely unaware. With four seconds left, he's not gonna have the time to plant. He is going. It looks like they have them divided for now. It's Peanut to hold the back of sight, but looks like he's gonna be taken down immediately by the Spencer here. Nice shot from Dorf to hold the line. He finds two on the hold. Finds three and Dorf with four kills up against Bren. That's two massive pickups here, but that leaves Borkum all alone in a one v five, and that's the ace for Dorf. It's NTK to be the operator here and in this war of operators it's dubstep who is the better one this time around ntk will be taken down here they know that there still could be a player short and now they spot him with the seekers dubstep with a double entry on the off disgusting work here from dubstep as he lines up another yet again crazy guy he's gonna be wondering what the hell that this was coming up from above but imagine that dwarf now coming in here they actually managed to detain one, and it's still a 2v4 here. Dorf and Pina, but Pina, it's Dobstep's round this time, looking for the ace here, but he's not going to get it, not just yet. Pina's going to be going down. Heavy Bren-sided map, so just giving it up is the best option. Ah, might be. Well, there you have it, ladies and gents. It's going to be 8-2. to two. Uh, the current scoreline here, but so far, Bren, they're looking like they're getting caught off, picked apart here. No way to revive them, no more ultis, and with shots like that from Pina. Obviously, Bren, they're going to have to fall back and just the opening pick and just deny the utility. That's a Hunter's Fury now coming oh, in. No. And he always lands one. Can he land two? He's almost gonna do it! He gets attacked! Dubstep, the operator duel yet again. Will it come in through? <laughs> This time, Dubstep, he somehow wins it again onto NTK? Now that's yeah. gonna be the From the Shadows going here towards A and Azerite. Dubstep ain't losing these Operator duels, not today. These peaks are just pristine, they're on point. Pina's gonna be activating the Cosmic Divide, but 
Yeah, that's going to be incredibly difficult to try to go around dubstep with the turnaround, but the safety of the alarm bot oh. keeps him alive. Pina, last man standing once again. The bull right now, they've lost a couple of rounds here and there, but that's a good entry oh on to find Dispenser. That's still going to leave us into a 4v5. A little bit curious as to how that went down, but in the end, the utility, after Five being clip. smoked off, now will leave us in a 4v5. They know where Dorf is, and it's going to take a second to clear him out, though, and they're going to... Oh... Did he see him? Did he see them? Dorf? Dorf actually lines it up onto one right now, and he's going to be, be given a false sense of security. But then again, Dubstep, he misses the timing around this corner here. And this is pistol number two pretty much in the books here for Bam. I don't think they're going to be able to get it. Not after NTK goes down like that. Which is there for one. All right, he finds a second one, but still a 2v3 in time. Not in their favor. Oh, no. Now they managed to bring it closer. But this is going to be difficult here as he dashes on into his death. Good attempt to get a good feel here of Bam and how they play. There will be some difficulties here. NTK is no going to try to go for the entry, but Dubstep's reaction time is just on a whole different level. Red Neville, he was setting stuff up, but this gets immediately denied. Dwarf and is going to just back away from the smoke here as uh, he was spotted by the... Alarm bot, but what's kind of dangerous now is Borkum's already on the alert, the forward alert. It, the, the, you know, NTK just went, can't win a, a dubstep duel. He just can't. Yeah. Like, they've faced off at the start of the rounds, like, so many times in a row, and dubstep is winning the duel up against NTK every single time. This is absolutely insane here. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> Spencer that, recalled the, enemy remaining. the turret, and, it, left. and he still shot through it. The, the untimely cause, and they're oh. not even going to get... Oh. Big Bam, full contact play, just gonna walk. They're gonna get spotted out here, nice entry, Red Neville with the tap. Paranoia comes in, NTK is gonna be flashed up, and they're gonna get out of that side. You know what, we're done here, we don't want to hold this anymore, we've already taken a loss early on. And this force, this, um, this buy here from Bam, is gonna allow them to get a little bit of control here towards the site. Dispenser is caught out, we'll try to swing out just off tempo, but same time still have a lot of work to do as they haven't really found any not much information here ntk is very low on hp there's no way to get him up for now no one's working that c long flat and time is taken they got to be decisive here they got to be defensive but that looks like it, it's gonna be it it's dispenser with borkum and jesse vash finally going in for it but low hp on them and not a lot of time Dorp is just gonna melt Jesse Vash and the Nano Swarms, and that's gonna be the round here from Big Bam and Bren. No, a bit more damage as the wall bang came in. Dubzep has a nice little angle here that he will not be missing. The second shot on Red Neville, almost as well, to convert. And crazy guy, he's setting stuff up. He needs to find a pick with this ultimate first because this is gonna be so difficult to push in as Wits has already activated the Seekers, exposing more the rotation, the positioning of the rest of Big Bam, but as they were scrambling, look at the map control for Brand. they push forward, Borkum's on the crazy lurk, but it's gonna get spotted, and you know that something was up, and this leaves us into the two versus three, Big Bam have everything that they need, and then some, and this is the proper time for them to look for that comeback, as you were saying. You're gonna hit it straight up, and what a way to get into it, there's still a 2v3, and they're gonna be trying to deal with that right now, Jesse Vash on the flat, gets only one, but still a 1v1 here, crazy guy, versus Wits, the two initiators for his team, Hunter's Fury fully blind there, he knows where he is, but, he's gonna try to swing out wide on top of that, and swing out and take out that recon, he does, but Wits, a non-team that he should be worried about. It's a good setup here, interestingly enough, and Dispenser with a double with a frenzy. One bullet left, and Wits is there to back him up, and they've made this into a 2v1. Wits is still on the back of sight. Can he get the timing? Doesn't look like it, because Borkum is going to be the only man left here. No rifles, no weaponry to be recovered just yet. Borkum still only on a sheriff, but Pina... Playing this close to heart here, he's gonna try and get the spike off, he does do it. Oh my God. And the timing, it doesn't go his way! He misses the oh. shot right there, Pina is good for it. That's the operator gone here, the timing just eludes dubstep this time, and... Now it's gonna be a quick hit onto A. They're gonna commit everybody to it right here, there's only one person lurking and watching the flank here. That's gonna be the Hunter's Fury available, it's gonna be used right now. 
But it's going to be Counter Hunter's Fury in response. And it's good to tag up and get onto one as well. Let's get the kill here. Now Borkum in the back. He's got the lockdown to deal with and a player right behind him around this corner. Dorf, will he get checked right now? Nope, he will not. 2v4 and this retake is proving impossible to do. Jesse Vash finds one but gets swung out hearing he has his ultimate up as well. So this is up to Crazy Guy to maybe watch out for and break it. And look at how Dispenser off angles his ult because he knows that there is some form of lineup that is then and there. Shots from Wits though through the smoke. Unfortunate for Crazy Guy and he's one of the players you really need to go for the clutch here in these moments. NTK's just gonna be running around, but he's backing up into Wits, who once again finds the targets here, Elu. And Pina is rushing, but there's already dubstep. About, they are very close to taking a map up against Stone oh Red like that. Dubstep is getting tagged by that owl drone right there. Punishes him completely, and he can't get away. They knew that Rikundar from Jesse Vash. <sighs> I think they just gave up the position if Dubs is still a discrepancy in terms of the ultimate. Red Neville has his Rolling Thunder, it's going to be huge to take in the sights, but Jesse Bash playing a very long angle here in Heaven could give some solace for Dispenser, but he doesn't- Wait! He did not get days, not at all, and Dispenser could anchor this if he need be! Jesse Bash is going to be uh, just pop out a couple of shots, but it's still not going to be enough, and they get the trade quickly enough before it turns into a hemorrhaging uh, discrepancy for them, and now 3 versus 3. They've got the first pick on this retake right now, Red Neville. He's managed to get that kill onto Jesse Vash, absolutely massive, but Wits, flash in hand, waiting for the right time to throw it out. He gets one, falls back into the safety of the Cosmic Divide. They know there's one towards Hell, and he swings wide here. Borkum knows where the last one is, though! But Crazy Guy still emerges victorious. He gets the recon ball here, taps away at the spike, and Crazy no. Guy goes down. Borkum will clutch the round. Ooh. Wrong turn for a second there. Oh, oh no, they still find him anyway. Ah, uh, that's gotta suck. I mean, that's okay, completely that on him because he gets lost in, in transition too. So this flank as well being checked out right here. Big advantage right now. Wouldn't wouldn't blame them if they go for the early save. Flash coming out from Red Neville. It's gonna blind up. Not gonna get anybody right here. Nobody to be found. They have managed to wiggle their way onto site. Dubstep making a lot of noise here as he only finds careful because even if they set this up, Jesse Bash is playing such a close corner. antiki has been spotted with a recon. He's gotta be careful, but did he get blinded by Borkum? That's gonna be huge because now Red Neville and Crazy Guy have opened the site up, taken two down. Dubstep gonna be having to wrap around all the way to a link, and it's all about the contact plays. But the problem is they don't have a sage, no walls, and it's all gonna be about the post plan. And we are going straight as movements come into the A site onto uh, NTK once again to convert. It's a good recon. Spots out. No, it doesn't spot out NTK, but it goes down immediately left. here. And they've burned some utility towards C. But instead, they will be committing to A. They've run this play a couple of times already, actually. So this might be quite sniffed out by now. But Crazy Guy is going to sniff out one here. Borkum, NTK! NTK with a triple here against Bren! Now Borkum in 10 seconds. Can he... 5 versus 5 still and nice. Oh no, he gets tagged up and through the wall. Does him and Wits, they, do they bump each other right there as he was trying to get away? It's a little bit awkward, a little bit clumsy, I think, if you ask me for Bren, but... You know, Dispenser should have lived through that. As he was trying to get away, I think he ran into Wits who was trying to throw out a guiding light, so... Not really anyone's fault, just a little bit clumsy, I think, on everybody's side. Here. 4v4 now. Jesse Vash, good for the hold on to one, but only finds one. But Borkum is finding two for all of his teammates instead! 3v1, 30 HP, Red Neville, but Borkum with a... Maybe. It's not their best map anymore if they lose it. Oh, they actually go ahead and they commit towards it right now. They're changing the tempo, changing the pace. But the gravity well is sucking them all in. They can't trade dubstep. He was all alone. And Borkum is going to get the spray down. But Red Devil's right there to trade things off yet again here. Jesse Bash will get one. But still leaves Wits all alone in a 1v3. He has a little information but can't land the spray. Pina, it's his... We just pull on the trigger, NTK is going to be safe for the moment. Spencer holding through the smoke, 
Wishing he could maybe pop oh. a shot here, but straight, smooth, and out was a mission, and the mission successful. Jesse Bash still popping some shots. Red Neville hit through the head, and we're down to the four versus five. Everybody's just going to be kind of coming to wrap around this site. They've left Dorfus to try to whittle out with the Nano Swarms, but the trade's still positive for Brennan. They have all the possible times to just go for the clutches here. Dorf cannot find a shot. Maybe he can. 2021, or actually of this year. Crazy Guy spots out. He's gotta be careful. Could get spotted and hit by the Paranoia. He just cannot take a break here. It's overwhelmed by Dispenser and Dubstep, and NTK gets caught out. They were peeking. They were looking for the trades. But there was no way in chance, or way in hell, or chance in hell, they're gonna be able to make that happen. Dorf just tries to push through this one way cloud burst that dubs it throughout. But this two versus five, I mean, if Bren loses, they're, they're, it's just, it's just not supposed to happen for them. But they should not, and that's gonna be an almost flawless. See if Bam can come back into this. So, uh, Bam, honestly, they have been a team that has been together for a minute here. But you can't get tired in the best of three, especially when map number one gets um, big bam. Or they also have experience with crazy guy as well. Oh, dubstep's in a load of hurt here. But before here, as the numbers have all settled in here, that's good. now they're gonna go for that three v four. Maybe let them plant the spike as dubstep goes and takes that heal. Maybe go for that retake here. But dubstep has an angle. Gonna hit that shot all day, every day, every single day here. Dubstep good for a second oh, here, no. and he gets the third. Gonna be a pick now as. Dispenser looking to go for an aggressive play here towards C Long for those retakes here. Spike will finally be planted, and now we do begin in a 5v5. It is gonna be that. <laughs> TK oh, fadeaway okay. shot on Borkum as he just tries to get out of harm's way. There's gonna be some shot darts being thrown by Crazy Guy just to keep them in tabs, but there comes a dash in from Dubstep, but there's just too many blinds. Wits, though, on the retaliate. That's gonna leave them a little bit of a stretching mark. Two versus two. Two underneath on hell here, and NTK has to hold firm. There's one more crazy guy has to rush out. He's making a lot of noise. Dispenser finally off of the spike, and he gets off. Question: Can we ask? Okay, what NTK okay. Doing? if Bam. Oh no! Dubs oh, Dubs is getting out. sucked in. <laughs> Both of them getting sucked in by the gravity well. This is the one that was thrown that spotted out their positioning. Now it's going to be Dispenser and the rest to just back away first. This is still the bonus round for Bam, and the perfect time for Bren to just uh, hold fast into the back of the side. Dispenser's going to be spraying wild, and he is just a beast to turn around for peace. Dispenser. A nice tap right there from Dub's death. Immediate, to say the least. I think he's charging right in, but... Didn't use his ultimate, knowing that Dwarf was already on the fast lurk on short. Wit is gonna be just holding the fort here, the duelist uh, sky. But is his positioning gonna get flushed out? He's pushing forward, he wants to get the takedown here, which he does onto Red Neville. That could have been a possibility. Um, onto the revive, which is not gonna happen. Spencer is already on the big lurk, but they leave themselves with a bit of solace on this turret. Can he wide swung? He's gonna get spotted. Well, he already has. Down to 55, and he is still evading that lockdown. Jesse Bash, is he gonna try and go for the peak? Yes, he does. Can maybe get a chance to destroy that ultimate? Looks like that's gonna be a no. Red Neville has already revived his teammate. He'll be charging in. Tags a couple. Jesse Bash is to the back of the side, and Dispenser. Yeah, he's a pretty easy pinata for Pina. Dorf is gonna have to back away. Spike will get planted down, and Wits, as well as Dubstep. Simultaneously knock spot the spike, but as time is ticking and there's not really a lot more utility, this could be something. Gravity Well has been used once more. That's gonna be a trade by Red Neville and Borgum converts. That's gonna be a possibility for him, but Pina holding at the back has to go plant the spike now, but Dubstep has to scan. You can't scan quickly enough to spot out NTK, leaving only Jesse Bash for this clutch scenario. The, the problem with this is. Bash doesn't really have anything anymore in terms of into Valorant has been one of he hasn't really been getting to play much off but he's still very comfortable on it as you can see there. these pushes oh, yeah. just from Bren they're just not working man point out that fact with crazy guy cuz he's also from a team called Sky Red back in the day yeah. where he pl he was invited to Dreamhack EU and that he was like getting like positive kills over screams. That's that's saying something for crazy guy. Anyways, uh, there was a nice double peek out there from Bren. 
did kind of expend, made it a little bit expensive from Tor, but crazy guy, he's doing the same thing that Dubstep does, but on a jet. This is quite enticing. Still, Witch does have a really good weapon. Dubstep comes in with the big fl- so There's a big bam. Boom. Dubstep, he's been trying to get these picks. And this is where it starts to get a little bit wor worrying, because... Oh my god, he goes for that jump peek. That's disgusting. No way. No way. What on earth? That works. For him. Well, if you're dubstep. If, if you're, you're a jet dubstep. that has a dash, your, uh, your propensity to try to make the riskier shots. Yeah, just uh, keep pulling that trigger off. Warcom's oh, gonna be hiding in the smoke, and the Spencer again, just in his tiny little corner of the world. But you know what? That's all that he really needs. Crazy guy converting That's with the operator, and that was huge with the recon once more. 30 seconds, though. He can try to pick up another weapon, but he's gonna try to deal with one first. Not nobody actually flanking hard from behind him. It's just dubstep waiting for maybe the rotation. So if he can isolate, this is a two versus one on the A site, but Dubstep is so near him, he's just waiting for a chance. Site. This is perfect for Bam to just strike in, strike fast. Because they don't have the information as to where Dubstep is, they don't want to pull the trigger. And they've already gotten a taste of that, we'll just play passive and wait for you just a teeny tiny bit. Spencer, no what a shot! Through the gravity well, get sucked in. This is going to be the close he on the door, but... Peanut and Red Neville, they gotta come big. Okay, NTK is back on the board. That's gonna be at least a little bit more of a retaliation here for Big Bam on their post plan. But they gotta run now because, yep, there is going to be that lockdown. Pina trying to run for his life. Red Neville as well as uh, the other healthier player, uh, NTK, is gonna be off the close contact. Dubstep gets a 4k. Congrats, we'll be spotting on Red Neville, but thankfully enough, a wall is there just to keep them in their tracks. He's gonna be backing away. Don't think he has a oh, slow orb anymore. Brandy Sports, they could burst through the site in a big way. That's the smoke now coming out. Will be deployed. And that's gonna be it. A uh, hit towards that site here. Dwarf. Completely stunned. Completely flashed. No way he gets a shot in. Nothing he can do about that. Just hold back and wait. It's gonna be a 4v4 retake here on the pistol round. Red are looking in a good spot. Looking incredible, to be honest. They have everything that they need and they don't, they don't even have to like run around or run away. What's yeah, gonna get spotted by that recon dart? It's gonna be the first contact for Grazy Guy. Dubstep's down to two, One but this Nano Swarm is just setting them up for disaster. NTK can to take him out of this bad lane. Oh, they managed to really... pick the rotate. They oh, managed to pick the rotate. Huge. Look at that. Dorf. That fake was so good right there, but Grazy Guy, a great shock dart to find. But that's going to be the site in their position regardless. They fell for it. Hulk, Lion, and Sankar. But with Wits being dead. Out of the picture. No way to heal Dubstep and Borkum. Who have like 24 HP cumulatively. And this is going to be a tough hole. If, if anything right now. Dispenser. He's one of the only players who still have HP on him. He's dropped to 69. Pretty nice for now. As it's going to be Dwarf to look to entry here. He's going to get the first. He's gonna get the spot right there towards the back, but Dubstep with 21 cannot do it. A great fake. But more so than not, his consistency has been oh, his greatest. Dubstep. Just charging for the meantime, though, as they now gather create this amalgam of their forces here towards a site. They will congregate here towards that short area as well. And another entry. Dubstep! Dubstep! What are you doing? That's a trade off, though. It's the Spencer for one. And Jesse Vash to find another kill, leaving Crazy Guy all alone in a 1v4. Well, they know where Crazy Guy is going to be coming from. Jesse Vash has been hit, but that is just a consolation to say at the least. Crazy Guy's got to try to convert this, but they are helping take the sights in general. Well, that phone knows NTK is going to be into the corner. Dash is away, but not enough into the grasp of Dubstep. Who is just a man unleashed? And he is looking for another dwarf. He's gonna back away here. He's gonna get pincered in by Dispenser, but still able to translate so quick and just barely threads the needle. Dwarf now has to go back, knows that one is already on market. Oh, if he gets hit by this dog, he's dead. Goes around it. He's good, but. Off. 
Pina just behind the smoke. Oh, this is gonna be a rather difficult retake now, isn't it? They have everything that they need. There's gonna be the lockdown used by Dwarf. That's gonna be something. Crazy guy, he knows that somebody could be creeping up on Tetris there, so he just waits for a moment, but Wits is about to hit a double kill if they're not careful. He only gets a singular, throwing out the wall immediately. They do get containment it. on one, they didn't but hear it. Dubstep is waiting for the edge, but not gonna be able to get more than that. And as you mentioned, they did not hear it. Onto this site, the Cosmic Divide has been deployed, but still with only 14 seconds left and two players on the back side to dispatch of. It doesn't look like it as NDK with three doesn't get more than that here, but oh, it's going to be Wits to allow his team to get that plant just in the nick of time, 2v2, and they've had to go for an awkward plant. But can they actually get out of this situation as Witty goes down and bam, hang on for one more round. That is a 10 to 2, 12 scoreline here. Bab keeping the dream alive for the Vietnamese squad. They want to hang on. Is here, But where are Brent going to go? They have options and that's what's important. They're going to start that lockdown right there. Could it get destroyed? Only oh, not going to get destroyed. Still stays up right there. That could be a problem here. NTK. He's gonna get one pick off. The Seeker is gonna come through right now. And this allows him to get onto site. Dub is Dubstep looking to push the envelope. And he was gonna line up one more before he goes and dashes away. Could have been a big round for him, but that's all he wrote for now. Still, a 4v4 to come in, and they're gonna get that spike planted down. Just a little bit of patience now being displayed here by Big Bam. And they're gonna want to take their time on this retake. They will be, but they have to win it. Because again, this is gonna be the last round for them. Very tall task. Nobody's on B main. Everybody's on the B side itself. But Wits is on the first. That's going to be Dorf expending him. And Dubstep and Borkum to remain. They double stacked up on stairs. They're backing away. This gravity well keeps them contained for now. But the trade Borkum. is positive. And Borkum is hiding, containing, anchoring for Dubstep to get that clutch. Bad as a sage. Because Sky can heal a bunch of people to full. But that doesn't, like, you know. Um, go on cooldown you can use it the leader one into the round but red devil don't okay. need to heal when he's the one draining all the hps of bren here jesse vash always good for the one with the ultimate it's converted to the three versus three the spencer's lurk is going to get snuffed out and i think big bam they already know what's going to be coming it's a quick rotation but they've kind of doubled themselves up they've second guessed it and b site oh. is going to be the baby for bren nano swarm is there dwarf is hearing it Activates it just in the oh. nick of time, and he does not hit the kill on the one who is carrying the spike. So it's gonna be the 2v3 retake once more, unfortunately. But this is where they have everything for them. And Jesse Bash and Borkum are gonna be the ones to try to hold and fend off and get this series already in their pockets. Oh, this is pretty much it right here. Jesse Bash, even on the overtime rounds. Yeah. You have to remember that, oh, great pick, NTK starting to win the duels against Dubstep, and Red Neville, he's going to get a little bit too much now. They still have to deal with Borkum. He's still on the site, and he is just gone right now. Bam, looking like they're primed and ready to take the first map here. I'm going to take advantage here in overtime as three players left standing for Bren on a retake. Oh, very, very difficult on him. It is, but Jesse Bash is bringing Odin okay. to a rifle fight! Never mind. And now because of the spam of the Odin, he's definitely afraid right now. This could go awry, Dispenser getting one. Dorf on six, he manages to get one still. Crazy guy is up. He's gonna tap away at the spike, Dispenser. Wait. No way he sticks this. No way he sees it. Oh, he goes for it yet again, but will not be able to land that shot. He gets another, but Dorf! Allow themselves two player here towards B. Dorf, he sees one. The trigger, discipline to spot him out. They still haven't dealt with him. And they finally do here, but that's going to be a shock dart to actually claim him. Crazy guy, still good right now and alive here with 12 seconds left. His position is known. Can he make it any more difficult here for Bren? They cannot. As with 5 seconds left, they are able to plant the spike. And 3v3, bam, in this retake. Can they take the win here? Can they bring us into game number 3? It's NTK to lead up the charge with an operator. He won't be entering first here, but Dubstep is going to be smoked out right now. But Borkman's good for one. Jesse Bash is good for another. Now it's all up to NTK here, the duelist. But can he line up the shots? And no, not to be. Go a couple more rounds, potentially. I mean, we will have a couple more rounds. And 
It's going to be the boost up right there. The wall coming up right here from Crazy Guy. Can they actually get onto the site? Dispenser's good for the hold for now. He holds up onto one. The Nano Swarm is able to lock down Pina. They can't recover the spike here, but he's going to be swung from the side. And somehow he takes the planter down with him. No time! No time to plant at all! And they're just going to hide. Turn tail is Right now, the shot goes wide. It misses right now. This is a chance for Bam. But Red Neville, he gets a double traded out by Wits. Now they're going to be barreling their way towards a little bit of a slower play. As they still have to deal with Pina, who's working their way back toward the site. And they get two versus three going up right now on this as the spike does go down here. Crazy Guy will have some utility with that recon to get a little information. And now get Jesse Vash here working with Borkum. Can they actually line them up? It's going to be NTK with the jump. Right click. What the hell was that? At the safer distance, they do have Jesse Bash with an Odin, but Dwarf expends him so quickly. Dispenser, he's just scanning. He's trying to sweep the position of for N NTK, but it's still not gonna happen. Wait. Jesse Bash jumped up on top of that wall for that kill. That was a very clever play right there to get it, and now it's a 4v4 here. He's somehow managed to bring balance to it, and now they've got them all locked in towards that site. They know that they... I'm pretty sure they're convinced there's nobody towards back of B, and this is looking really good right now, but the Spencer slowed down right there by the Nano. Can he actually stay alive? A crazy guy with Odin getting the wall back onto the Spencer still, and that's a lot of utility being deployed as the utility from Dorf yet again making things impossible, and it's gonna be Bam yet again for the lead here. To the situation I think we also asked this from Big Bam yesterday. That was uh, Red Neville that we were talking to. That it, it really is just how they kind of play around it. But with those flashes from Wits, perfect to get on the entry on the A side. Dorp has to go big, but that smoke just kind of blocks out his vision. He's oh. contained here. He has to deal with Porkum first, which he does. Expensive quite quickly. Spencer holding the angle, but NTK brings it back. Three versus three, but it's all about the retake. And some of the members here, bam, low with the HP. Wallbanks yeah, with crazy guy though, but they're gonna retake. And this is difficult right here. Jesse Vash from Hell, that's not where you want the Sova. But somehow Dubstep getting the kill onto NTK. He's gonna manage to bring it back, and so will Jesse Vash. Crazy guy, 1v1 right now, 14 HP. Jesse Vash left standing. You would never expect the Sova to be in Hell, but he gives away his position with a recon. But Vash had all the information. So thanks to Charm, well, we'll see. Well, yeah, definitely here, but a change of pace. The Spencer looking to entry, getting up close, but it's gonna be NTK. Now he's looking to go and hold this uh, post plant situation. Sorry, this off angle here in hell. They might not expect him, but they do. And NTK and Crazy Guy have bought themselves a life flying it again. They want to take advantage here in this map. Third overtime, had they've had enough. But with this spot out right there, Dubstep only able to get no! three, able to get four, and Dubstep melts away. Switching Bullet, sides. no problem. Match point. The fadeaway shot to secure the round victory. 35 kills on Dubstep. 35. Crazy guy in NTK with them because it seems that they're not going to be holding any more horses as they push into the A site. Oh no. Oh, well, they've got the kills, though. 3v5. This is looking like it could be Bren yet again. And Bam, still on the back foot for now. But they've clawed their way out of situations like this before, Asurai. I won't say it's impossible because they've done it. They've done it time after time to take us to overtime number three here. But it just might prove to be too difficult this time. As it's looking like it's going to be Bren, but Crazy Guy keeps it still here alive for now. But with an operator in the hands of NTK, it might just be a little too impossible. The crossfires is good. The lineups are there. Oh, and they're just jiggle peeking and baiting for information. But Crazy Guy lands all to one. And it's gonna be friend! Yes! 31 and 30 apiece. The blows being traded by Brennan back.